Информациите стигнуваат до вас. In the center of the Macedonian capital Skopje, it's a 22 meter tall statue of Alexander the Great. Greece, though, believes that Skopje is stealing Hellenic heritage and it's worsening a two decades long row between the two countries, which is having a major impact on Macedonia's attempts to join both the European Union and NATO. Our Balkans correspondent Mark Lowen reports. A giant monument reflecting the pride of Macedonia. Alexander the Great, 22 meters high, in gleaming bronze. This nation says it is asserting ownership over its own hero, the ancient Macedonian warrior. It's great, says this man. I was watching on TV. Now I came to see it myself. It's the pride of Macedonia, he says. It's our pride. But this giant monument goes to the heart of a far bigger row. Travel south into Greece, as I did earlier this year, and you reach the northern Greek province called Macedonia. This, once the ancient kingdom of Macedonia, was where Alexander the Great was born. Here he is again in the provincial capital Thessaloniki. Greeks revere him as their hero and say he has no link with today's Slavic Macedonians. For two decades, Athens and Skopje have argued over who has the right to use the term Macedonia. Greece says it is Hellenic heritage and that its northern neighbor can't join the EU or NATO unless it changes its name. This is Macedonia. You know, we we'll never accept they use the name of Macedonia and they know that. They can't get in entry in NATO, they can't get in the EU, they can't go nowhere. Is that fair? It is fair because they, sh they should use our name. Athens has called the statue in Skopje provocative, warning it will have repercussions for the country's Euro-Atlantic hopes. This is ancient history fueling a modern day conflict and the anger from Greece may now reach a 22 meter high peak. Mark Lowen, BBC News.